Skull and Bones has finally arrived. I can't wait to play this. Oh, I've been so hyped for Skull and Bones ever since it was announced. Some of you might recall me mentioning that Black Flag is one of my favourite games. I love the pirate genre. And no matter the scrutiny and the inevitable hate that Skull and Bones is going to get, I still wanted to smash out this platinum day one. Or day minus three in my case with a premium edition. Energy drinks and a dream have enabled me to grind out this game's trophies. We have a very varied trophy list which is a lot of fun, but there's also a few grindy and boring ones as you'd expect. The worst two being for sailing 1 million metres and even worse harvesting 10 thousand jute. This one literally took me an entire day of playing. Before we begin, thank you to the NC Collective, and I hope you all enjoy the grind. I put 20 or so hours into the beta and I kept all of my progress. I was really hoping to get some auto pop trophies right at the beginning of my journey to save loads of time. I've looked at the trophy list and I've done over half of the trophies in the beta. So will it auto pop them when I log into the game? That is the question. Um, well, Nothing's popped up. So let's go get this trophy quick. Uh, what is it? Quick chat? Oh wait, chat Chat server's unavailable. Are you kidding me? I can't even get that trophy quickly. All right, let's go blow some people up. And board. There we go. Cool. Now that should be a trophy. And then will the rest pop? Yep, take all that. Go overboard, yeah. Finch an enemy with a crew boarding. Okay, the rest don't pop. That sucks. Okay, so although I didn't get any auto pops, I was still very far ahead thanks to the beta. I just had to retrace my steps a little bit. Starting with the trophy for re-equipping my ship with armor. Um, if I unequip my arm. Oh, okay, there you go. It was a <laughs> turtle up. <laughs> Equip your ship with armor. All right. It was already equipped. So I had to just go into there. That's fine. Next, I picked up a trophy at ramming speed, sending this poor ship to a watery grave. Let's do that as well. Eat that. And then zoomy zoom. Yeah, there we go. Derby. <laughs> That's an easy silver. 30,000 collision damage. I was spoiled for choice on which trophies to go for. So I went for some exploration types where I had to interact with each faction's capital. You could also just scan them with your spyglass whilst on the move for the easy trophy pot. I can probably see it from here and get the trophy. Zoom. Oh, nearly. There we go. Home of Confederation of Unguana. Nice. Use my spyglass on Jiwe. Back to the open seas, and for dealing with one of the annoying factions that attack on sight, the privateers, I was awarded my next trophy from the wreckage of their ship. Bam. <laughs> Hitman. There we go. Sink a privateer. That was nice and easy. To grab yourself the Just For Fun trophy, all you need to do is destroy a poor, unsuspecting ship and sail away like a badass. Or a psychopath, your choice. I then carried on with spying on each capital, sailing to the home of Clan Farah, followed by the capital belonging to the Sea People. Right, this is another trophy. Boop. Yeah, home of the Sea People. Even though I'd been there loads in the beta, I had to return to the first main hub, St. Anne, to pick up that easy trophy. Oh, mainland pirate. Okay, let's have a go into St. Anne. Yeah, reach St. Anne. I thought you had to actually step foot on it. Oh, if I talk to Skurlock, this will give me a trophy as well. Boop. Yeah, just business. Meet John Skurlock, even though I know him very well from the beta. My beta progress helped me out yet again when I returned to my office in the smuggler's hideout. Okay, let's go over here. I think this might be another trophy. Yeah, it is. Duty free. Discover smuggler's hideout. Good job I did that in the beta. The game couldn't simply track the fact I had multiple ships, so I had to craft my quote unquote first ship to claim another trophy. If I just make this one, I will get a trophy. And trophy please. Yeah, ship captain. As apparently, that's me building my first ship. I then picked up two easy trophies at the cosmetic shop. You know, maybe if I just back out, then it'll pop. Moment of truth, yes, there we go. Rags to riches. Wear an outfit worth more than 5,000 silver. Oh, and then, actually, if I thank her. Yeah, the mime. <laughs> Easy peasy. Show your gratitude to any NPC after talking to them. Another easy one is simply for winding down with your fellow pirates and dancing along to music. Hey, after a long day of sailing. I'm not even doing the dance. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice. 
Easy. Next, I hopped into my Dow, which is like a crappy dinghy, to grab a fair few hunting-related trophies because you could chuck a spear out of the boat. But first, I saw an opportunity for a different trophy. Yes. Come on, trophy. As soon as I get through here, no, don't kill me. Ooh. Okay, safe zone. How? Yeah, there we go. Oh, phew. Why fight when we can negotiate? <laughs> that is a great trophy. Hide from attackers in a safe zone. Uh, why I did it in this ship, I do not know. <laughs> I then had to deal 3,000 damage to towers with my spears. Oh, it's the tower, right? Yeah. All right. So hopefully I can do 3,000 damage to this before it just annihilates me. I, I can't even throw it high enough. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, this is easy. Uh, probably halfway. A couple more hits. Come on. Trophy. Before he blows me up. There we go. Inspirational. Oh my god, half my health. Oh, and I'm... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I got the trophy before that happened. Wow. <laughs> After I swam back to shore, I picked up a trophy for activating bonfires. These bonfires give you and your party a nice stamina buff, so they're worth visiting anyway. There we go. And trophy. <laughs> the trophy beat me to it. The explorer. Activate a bonfire on three outposts. Back in my Dow, I found myself in a bit of a unique situation in a spear duel with another fool that travelled in a tiny boat. And I was very grateful to get what could have been a very annoying trophy out of the way. Yes. Yes, yes, not today. Oh, nice. I thought that one would be an absolute pain in the butt. Sink an enemy ship while having 5% HP or lower. Oh, damn. <laughs> that was lucky. Next, I used the spears for their real purpose, which was hunting. I had to hunt every type of animal to hunt this trophy. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Right, this should be the last one. Trophy, please. Yes, the poacher. Awesome. Hunt down at least one of each hostile wildlife. Okay, that doesn't explain it very well, but you need to take out the alphas and the apex versions as well. Sharks are just sharks. Hammerhead and Great White. There's three of each hippo and three of each crocodile. I then went on the chase for a tasty trophy, and using all the ingredients I'd stocked up on, I could cook the remaining dishes for the Cook Pirates trophy. Oh, I can make loads. Here we go. Yes, Cook Pirates. <laughs> nice, I didn't need that many more for... 15 dishes. Lovely jubbly. Afterwards, I picked up a trophy for talking to 20 NPCs and then gathered wood in each region to plunder another trophy. I was still on the lookout for faction capitals and came across the Dutch capital in the East Indies, fetching me that trophy. Then the next trophy was the last one that required me to be sailing the Dow. I had to throw 100 spears at enemy ships. I died so many times doing this, but was on a lucky streak because this Dutch warship was too distracted with destroying a guard tower that it almost forgot about a little old me. Uh oh, hey, he wants me. Oh, porcupine, got it, worth. <laughs> Hit enemy ships with a spear 100 times and there, there I go. Okay, I never have to use the Dow again. I've done all the trophies to do with that, I'm pretty sure. Yes! I got back in my proper ship and harvested fibre and a trophy, and then found another capital, this time belonging to the Rempa. Soon after, I earned a combat-related trophy for destroying weak points, which I felt was a stroke of luck, honestly. Oh, the silencer! Oh, is that the flare one? Yes, I was worried about that one. Destroy flare weak point to interrupt a ship from firing flares. Oh, amazing. I'm buzzing about that. I didn't know how to do that. I kept destroying weak points for ages. You'll recognize these from Black Flag. I had to crest a rogue wave for a pretty cool trophy. Here we go. Race! Yeah, I can see my house from here. Did I just get killed or something? Crest a rogue wave. Oh yeah. Uh, what just happened? Oh wow. It did destroy me. <laughs> So worth it though. Next I looted an extremely easy trophy. It's simply in the game so that they could use a pirate's reference. I just had to sell some brandy. Why is the rum always gone? Whilst obliterating ships randomly, it seemed I'd accumulated a rather large sum of wealth from their wreckages. Nice. Oh, when we raid it, pause. Very nice. That is 50k of silver value from ships. Nice. Doesn't feel like that. <laughs> Afterwards, I gathered my last trophy for harvesting materials, this one being for metal. 
and then I reached the infamy rank needed for crafting the best spyglass in the game. This enabled me to scope out my next trophy. Yes, there you are. Phew, okay, it goes up to like 1600. Scan an object from a long distance, 1400 meters plus. Beautiful. I decided to progress with the story I'd been neglecting and met Admiral Rama for that trophy. And then I found the last capital I needed to add another trophy to my collection. The open seas region is a dangerous place in many ways, but for taking down five ships without leaving, you will blast your way to another trophy. Yes, yes, Battle Royale. Whew. Defeat five ships without leaving open seas. Nice. And while I was here, I made a start on the set of trophies for uncovering every zone in each region. The open seas still count as a region, and I picked that one up first. Whilst exploring, I noticed that the moon was finally full, which meant I could earn the game's hidden trophy for staring at the full moon for 10 seconds whilst on land. There's a full lunar cycle in the game, so this one is really annoying. I'd recommend always paying attention to the moon cycle to get this one out of the way when you can. Okay, this has to be the full moon. Okay, 100%. Trophy. In three, two, one. Trophy. Oh yes, lunar effect, <laughs> finally! Oh, I'll stare at the full moon for 10 seconds while on land. And that is a horrible trophy because it's just taken me five and a half hours to get to that cycle because the moon is different every night. What a stupid trophy. Next, I quickly explored the coast of Africa and then thankfully earned a trophy which I thought was going to be way more RNG dependent for plundering an area whilst in a storm. Oh! What have I? No way. That class that classes as a storm, apparently. <laughs> oh, I missed the, I missed the flipping thing, I was so shocked. So that is for doing a, plundering a place and it being a storm at the same time. And I thought it would take me ages to get, but apparently that's a storm. Oh. Okay, it really is a storm now. I then finished exploring the Red Isle for that trophy and kept on trying to trade with other players as there's a trophy for trading with three different people. But even without the chat being online during early access, people were just rude. I was offering thousands of silver for free just to trade and even then people would still decline. I bumped into someone nice enough to trade though and for joining the group I earned a different trophy. Assemble. I went back to the main questline again and was plundering one of the great capitals. The next trophy floated my way during this raid because I'd reached the infamy level of Cutthroat. Oh, but you have heard of me. But you have heard of me. <laughs> oh, that's for getting to a certain rank, isn't it? Reach Cutthroat here, yes. I was then excited to earn my next trophy for exploring the East Indies because at first I thought this trophy to be missable as I'd spent hours exploring it earlier. Oh, yes! East Indies Explorer. I thought that one was bugs. I thought that was bugs. <laughs> oh, no way. All zones in the East Indies. I thought you couldn't get to this mountain. I was getting ready with a little speech and everything saying about how you can't do it. Because you can't get around here, but that's fog of war. Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Now I was on the final contract in the main storyline. I had to take down a Dutch general named Van Kinkel, and it only took me about 10 deaths because I was supposed to summon reinforcements, but it kept bugging out. Even when I took him down the first time, the quest then reset. So this was actually a horrible experience. Oh, and the nearby fort shoots nukes from its mortars. After destroying Van Kinkel a second time, I could finally progress to the end game and go for the trophy tied to it, but first I had to reach the infamy rank of Kingpin. I needed a bit of assistance with a trading trophy and a trophy for completing five contracts while in a group, so I'd like to take this moment to say a massive thank you to our friend and member from Down Under, Crosso, for helping me get these annoying multiplayer trophies. Go check out his Crosso channel for gaming comedy gold and head on over to his cynical channel for more platinum trophy content. He logged onto both accounts to help me get those last two trades I needed. Yes, sharing is caring. Finally. Oh, trade with at least three players. What a stupid trophy. God damn it. Cheers, bro. We then completed five contracts whilst in a party, and I could feel relieved that there were no more multiplayer trophies forced upon me. I then carried on building my empire as a pirate kingpin. Completing this mission would give me my first manufactory, which also delivers a trophy alongside it. Next, I comboed the two longest trophies together. I found myself a nice route for harvesting jute, and there's actually not that many nodes that spawn it. 
Whilst doing this route, I was going to naturally achieve the Magellan Trophy for travelling 1 million metres, and I managed to pick it up while still having 3,000 or so jute left to harvest. Hey, nice! Magellan, I think you say that. Sail a million metres. Felt like a million miles. Oh, finally. As if that popped when I'd stopped as well. <laughs> Once you pop, you can't stop. So this is what I've got left. 0.0% because this one's bugged, so we'll ignore that. And 69% of the way to harvesting 10,000 pieces of jute. I wonder how many people have actually done that apart from the devs. It took me an entire working day, but eventually my ship was bursting to the brim with harvested jute, and I was awarded what should normally have been the last trophy for that coveted Skull and Bones Platinum. Thank you. Yes! Yes! Skull and jute. Oh my god. Harvest 10,000 pieces of jute in total, and that is basically the platinum, because the chat isn't active yet. Three players with an ahoy from the quick chat. That literally takes L3 and Square. You know that the zoomy, zoomy zoom speech bubble is obviously quick chat. So that's basically the platinum, because Ubisoft has screwed me over. <laughs> Why have you not activated the chat? The game's out. <laughs> I paid for early access, you're not giving me the full access. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Yar!